do is just uh, take a look at some of we, we, we met the other day we pulled out some photos that uh, Gary and David both found meaningful and uh, we just wanted to maybe pull a couple of those out and, and tell the stories behind them and, and sort of explore how they connect David and Gary. So David, uh, you were worked as a videographer and a TV reporter in, in uh, West Virginia and Tampa, Florida. Okay, before coming back and you're in the what, design media program now. Design Media Arts, there's a couple of you out there. Thanks for coming, <laughs> represent. Um, we could start with my first photo. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I figured just since that's where the collaboration began. Yeah. <laughs> here, here I am. Uh, and Gary, yeah, what's the story? I'm often asked my favorite photograph or my best or greatest photograph. And, um, I always point to that. Um, that's my father delivering David. My father delivered me. Um, my mom is a great sport. Yes. <laughs> and um, uh, you know, I recognized the hands that meant so much to me. And of course, David. That actually, I can see him. And, you know, you can't see it, but but I actually do. Um, and so I'm always asked, and that's the one I go to. Interestingly enough, I didn't bring it. Since, I was born 525-77, which dates me, but that was the day Star Wars came out. Okay, there you go. All okay, right. so speaking of ephemera, why don't we go to the Bush photos? Let me start. Can I, you brought me to a Bush um, event. Event. In, in an it's elementary an school exactly. out over in South Central yeah. um, Los Angeles. And it was before he was president. We didn't even know. I mean, we knew he was the son of George Bush, but you right. didn't feel like he was going to be a contender. And he walked. No, he, have he walked in there. And I, I was really taken by him. And then I shot this. And that's the former mayor Reardon. And there's him. And I actually did a back bend. I saw him coming through, and he was just like a cowboy. And I said, this guy is going to be president of the United States. And they're never going to let me this close again. Two things that I'll come back to. Yeah. What is it, why don't you just talk a little bit about the detail in this particular Bush photo? Of, uh, I think that's at the. Oh, sorry. About that. That's that's at a that's at a uh, political rally. He was the candidate. It was at Burbank Airport, and I was right next to him. And the light, the white light, is a bit distracting. You have to come up. He's holding a crucifix, and he's comparing it with the woman who's there who's holding her crucifix and they had said she said something to him that his response was oh yeah I've got that and he took it out of his pocket and went like that and that's when I snapped the shot and I had taken the picture from that day I feel like it's the definitive shot <laughs> you know I his look is really, you know, he's looking at me. I had to work for this shot. Um, I, I don't actually have it up on there. but um, And so what I did was I, I had a show shortly after he was president, and I tried to sell these. You wouldn't buy one. <laughs> so no one really, I, I really <laughs> you could, These images have lives, and that they can carry, you know, that taking the picture is a performance in itself. I mean, for me, what I learned from you was that a camera was an excuse to be somewhere. That it was in a lot of ways it is that that is part of it. Yeah, you know, yeah. You, you get to bear witness, and then you get to share that with other it's people. It's not everything, but it's a part. Yeah, getting in. He's got twenty dollar prints for sale. This is ten. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is kind of one family story. I think another one that uh, you started telling me about was the time that. Went for the family outing to sort of photograph the LA riots. So all of you guys went out uh, together. Oh, well, David was, that was his take on um, <laughs> no, um, He picked me up from school, actually. He picked me up from school at Marshall, and we drove to Parker Center. And, um, you know, when, when, where it started at Swords, and there was a protest, and we shot it. And, you know, this is my first news. I mean, this is a, this is a real news story, and it was my first big story. And, I mean, it was exhilarating to say the least and food and I saw these kids doing cartwheels and it was this moment where you, you talk about looking back at your work when you were young and there was this realization that you could put two things 
Did it juxtapose? Yeah, juxtapose. And then it could say a lot about what was going on. So I just was looking at the print. That was at South Central, that was outside the social service yeah. um, center where people were coming for their checks. Yeah. Because it was, uh, it was, was right. it the first of April? It was. And so and that sort of, so that sort of toned down the riots in a lot of ways. Yeah. We got OJ. Okay, let's do OJ. Um, that's about the same time. Yeah, this was this was made for an interactive art show, which is very applicable for what we're doing now. And it had to jog my memory because I was looking through my contact sheets after the trial and was surprised to find I had a picture of OJ and Nicole. And our and our and our take was that we made this big and we talked about Yoko Ono. And this idea of nailing, you know, for a buck, you could nail into OJ and Nicole. And it was really interesting, you know, where people decided to put the nails. Um, you know, they kind of tell a story. Uh, and, and yeah, it was, I mean, this was. Uh, when and and, and to, to, to show that he was much wrong. more an entrepreneur than, than I am, and thinks a lot faster on his feet. Um, Someone came up and, and was offended that anybody would hammer a nail and, you know, people took position, you know, for one reason or another, things that you couldn't possibly anticipate, um, why they would nail, and you'd think they would all be in OT, but who knows. <laughs> but someone came up and was offended by the nail in, in Nicole here, and David said, uh, for a buck you can pull it out. Well. <laughs> You know, that's what I mean. I hadn't occurred, you know, we're collecting dollars. And, um, you know, I, 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 a proud moment. <laughs> um, after the 1988 earthquake, it was two days after I was driving. I saw him. I pulled over and, and went to my truck, didn't, d d into my trunk. Didn't think twice about it. It was just like time stood still. Grabbed the camera, took the shot, and it's, I can't remember another moment where I took an image and knew that I, I connected with something. Connected with something in the universe, something where it just felt different than everything else I'd, I'd done before or, or after. And I, I knew I had something special. I um, and I say that now. This this photo has sold more than any other image that I've got. People connect with it. They'll going through a pile of photos and 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 pull that that one out. I I said to him after I'd done it, do you want some change? I thought I don't normally offer change, but I I just thought it's somehow appropriate. He said, um, I have cancer. <laughs> Um, I guess meaning that he, he, you know, what what good would change do? And um, I responded because I grew up with a doctor. Did you get a second opinion? <laughs> and his response was, "Why does everybody say that to me?" <laughs> and um, I thought, "Okay, I'm just like everybody else," um, which was also kind of interesting. Put my camera back in and left. Um, but uh, process the film knew I had something, and um, uh, there is just so much interest in this in this yeah. image. I mean, I remember yeah. that it, you. This was a print where I kind of understood that a negative that you you can do something with a negative where you know you have to burn and dodge and you have to put a lot of work into some pictures for anyone who's a photographer can remember that and this picture because of the tonal quality not just the subject you can do just about anything and, and it, it translates. translates and that that and and so it. every print actually is is different there's a different tone to it but it works it's it's like a magical negative